escape the rumors we are in can you escape today um and we're going to try their room conspiracy bunker let's see Escape the Rumors, Brandon here. We are in Bloomsburg, PA, and we're at Can You Escape? I'm with Russell. How are you, Russell? Oh, excellent. So Russell is the owner. He's also the mind behind the games that we played here, and we played two of them. First one was Conspiracy Bunker, and the second one was Mineshaft. Both very, very entertaining, a lot of fun, completely different from each other, but Overall, we had a wonderful time, and you'll check out our review on what we thought of it personally. But we're gonna get into the five key questions with Russell. Are you ready? Absolutely. All right, let's get these out the way. Number one, when did Can You Escape open? Uh, so we opened in January of 2016. Oh. So nice. we're coming up on four years now. Yeah. So pretty exciting. Was it like a New Year's Day thing, like on January 1st? or? That's when we start started? taking bookings. Okay. Yep, so like, a, January 1st, we accept the bookings, and in January, we opened our doors with the Tornado Room, our first room. Oh, okay. That leads me to my second question. How many games do you have available right now to play? Okay. So we have three games. We have the Tornado Room, uh, we have the Mineshaft, and we also have our brand new room, the Conspiracy Bunker. Okay, so Conspiracy Bunker is the one we tried. It's going to be on our new room alert section. Um, and then we also, the one we didn't get to try was Tornado, which oh, I wish we had more time. Yeah. But Mineshaft was also very, very, very fun. And um, we're going to our third key question for you. Since I understand that you had a lot of involvement in the build and in terms of like, the, where does that inspiration come from when you want to create a room? Like, how does that all start? Well, we, we when we first started off, we wanted to make rooms about well, about almost four years ago, rooms that we didn't see a lot of. Mm -hmm. Rooms that involved like life, life or death scenarios like the tornado. Mm -hmm. um, since then we've also done an upside down room, you get trapped in your dream kind of thing. Oh. We had a steampunk room. We had a couple other different rooms that we've revised. Um, but we base all our rooms on teamwork. We always have a puzzle in there that takes away a sense. So you, one person can't see, everyone else can see, or one person can't touch it, but someone else can. Right. Um, so a lot of our inspiration for our rooms comes from breaking it down in a team building aspect. Mm -hmm. And then and forcing them to communicate. Exactly. Right. Taking away one person's sense, relying on the other person for that sense really forces a team uh, to have better teamwork. Right, right. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, our fourth key question for you is how do you do your bookings here? Are they public, private? Is there an option for private? Right. So we, we have uh, all public bookings. Okay. Uh, so unless you book the room as a private room, unless you buy all the seats, which we do offer a discount if you buy all the seats, okay. um, people have the option of being, playing with strangers, people that they don't know. I keep it like that just because I enjoy doing that. Mm -hmm. I enjoy meeting new people. I haven't met anyone in that likes escape rooms that I haven't liked. Right. Because they all have nice ways of thinking, they all have ways of approaching things, so they're all public here. Right, right. Um, and in terms of the capacity of the rooms, like the minimum max? Yeah, so Tornado, we can take two people as a minimum. It's very difficult, uh, but we will, we will accept two. Eight to ten is the max for Tornado. Okay. Uh, with the mine shaft, uh, same thing, we allow two, uh, but eight is the max. And the conspiracy room, we 
four is our minimum because there's okay. a lot going on in the conspiracy yeah. room. Yeah. <laughs> but again, eight is our max for all our rooms. Okay, and I feel like Tornado is the largest I mean, square footage wise. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, and our last question for you is really just to get to know Russell a little better. Uh, is there something that most people wouldn't know about you? Like, do you have a hidden talent or like a side hobby or is this like is a escape room gotcha. like a side? Well, escape room is my side hobby. Right. Okay. <laughs> But um, I, I play guitar, uh, play Ooh. play drums. Uh, I'm, I'm an engineer at the local power plant, um, so I've always enjoyed uh, solving puzzles, solving problems. Right, right. Uh, so this kind of rolled in the escape room industry, kind of rolled in on me. Yeah, but what, it sounds like you're a creative underneath. person in general, so that you kind of put the two together. I, I guess you could say, yeah. 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 Any uh, footage of you playing on YouTube anywhere with the drums or guitar? Uh, you'd have to search pretty deep. <laughs> we'll see if ago. we can get them. <laughs> All right, and I understand that you play escape rooms. Yes. Okay, can you just give us one that was memorable for you? It doesn't have to be your favorite. Also, it could be one here if you played any of your own or somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, it's, I would think Escape City Buffalo, oh, the Ni Niagara Falls, I've heard a lot of people talk about that, but that was probably the most memorable, um, just from set design aspects, right. and the puzzles weren't overly difficult, but they were done in a way, every puzzle almost had, almost every puzzle I had an aha moment. Okay. You know, and that's that's what I like, rooms that have that, but Escape City Buffalo, Ni the Ni Niagara Falls. Do you remember the name of the game that you played? That you so I think my pirates, it was Niagara Falls, you were you were captured on, on a ship, these modern day pirates locked you up and your boat was getting ready to go over the falls. Oh. Amazing set design, wow. highly recommended. Okay. Well, hey Russell, thank you so much for having us and for answering our questions so we get to know more about Can You Escape. You guys gotta subscribe to our YouTube channel so you know what to expect when you get here. You'll get a little taste of what's inside the two rooms that we played. And check out our website for our review on the two rooms that we played, which is Conspiracy Bunker and and mine chaff. Take it easy. Bye. If you need to, don't hesitate to ask for help. help. For hints and clues for you to think it through. Leaderboard or not, is whether you win or lose. Left for me to choose Two hits left for me to use One hit left for me to move Time is running now, gotta figure something out